Welcome home, brave heroes. I am Ash, and these are the submissions to the 2024 Quest Jam. Be advised, there will be spoilers ahead. And now, onward. United We Stand by Bareheaded Warrior. Plot inspired by the comic strip in the Marvel Winter Special, 1991. I am Mentor, the master of arcane magic. Remember, my friends, even what seems a simple mission, to recover the sword of Zalmir, can be filled with peril. The orcs that stole the sword will not give it up easily. The traitorous Morgar will set many of his foul servants against you, but it is for such a quest that you have been prepared. Remember that you fight for the very life of the Empire. Godspeed, my friends. I can guide you through the labyrinth, but there are many dangers you must face and choices you must make on your own. Starting this quest, the evil wizard player must place each hero figure on the square on the quest map indicated with the corresponding icon and then read out the following text. As the cloud of confusion clears, you realize that whilst you remember the objective of the quest, to recover the sword of Zalmir, you have no recollection of how you got here, how to find your friends, or the location of the spiral staircase to get out. And thus, the quest begins. The heroes are going to have to do the opposite of what they are inclined to do, something that goes against their very nature. They're going to have to find one another and stick together. And this is a pretty nicely balanced quest for all four of the heroes to be able to shine in their own right and take their own paths to get to the center of the board. For example, the wizard actually doesn't have much to do at all, can't really do much except for wander into this room with the goblin. Even the wandering monster of this quest is a goblin, so I mean, this is a pretty fair fight. <laughs> no, don't. Okay, never mind. My wizard died in this fight with the goblin. I demand a do-over. Well, at least my barbarian is mighty and tough and will crush any goblins that stand in his way. Oh, look at that. It actually worked. Yeah, this is probably where my luck is going to change. This quest feels very old style. It feels like it took notes from classical design. As the first hero steps into this room, read out the following. As you enter this dark, long-forgotten chamber, you hear the sinister rattle of old bones. The chest contains 50 gold coins and a healing potion. The dwarf is getting similar treatment here in the northwest corner of the board. It looks like he will be able to fight a goblin and then a couple of goblins. And the elf is catching a break, only having one goblin to fight. Coming into the center of the board, our heroes will now have to figure out how to navigate and mitigate the orcs that are around every corner. Actually, they are stuffed into every corner. And as the first hero enters this room, read out the following text. The tomb lid crashes to the ground, and a dark shadow begins to rise out of the tomb, forming into a large hooded figure towering over you, wielding a scythe with a long, sharp blade that appears to be carved from ice. Suddenly, you hear the sound of groaning coming from the corners of the room. Beware! The dead are rising! Place a zombie on each of the squares marked with an X and a reaper. Use the skeleton figure on the square marked C. Reapers can attack diagonally, and their attack counts as a chill attack, and so does not allow a defend roll as the blade passes through armor as though it isn't there. This reaper is invulnerable to mundane weapons and can only be wounded by magic artifacts like the Sword of Zalmir or spells. There's special text to read once the heroes have completed this quest, but I'll leave it to you to discover what this is. So thank you very much, Bareheaded Warrior, for this awesome quest. The Chest by Dennis Duss our scouts have spotted the forces of Zargon carrying a large chest to several battles prior to winning them. We suspect this chest contains a powerful secret weapon. The chest is being kept in Zargon's most southern fortress. The east side of this fortress is heavily guarded by Garak, the infamous warlord, and his vast army. Your mission is to enter the fortress at the west entrance, steal the chest, and leave the fortress where you came in. Good luck. The very first comment that I'm going to make about this quest is that I think the author confused East and West. The East side is where the heroes start, and the West side is where all of this rampaging, murderous, orky nonsense is going on. We're still the southernmost orcs. Yep. There are a couple of very unique mechanics in this quest, and a lot of quest notes to go along with them and explain all of the nuances. There are also quite a few locked doors. But the heroes are actually allowed to peek through the keyholes of these locked doors and check out the contents inside. The zombie in this room is a fear monger and is going to be an extra pain to deal with. Opening this door leads into a war room. You can see Garak, the infamous warlord, and two of his lieutenants leaning over a table discussing war plans. Well, my dread lieutenants, I reckon we just need to go get her done. On the table you see maps, a spell scroll, and a large silver key. Garak, of course, looks up and immediately sounds the alarm. That is when this door is opened. I'd remove it from the board, and 
the four orcs here are revealed. It's not just four orcs though. Whenever one of these orcs is killed, it is simply returned to the holding pile of orcs outside the board, and the supply is nigh infinite. On every single turn of Zargons, these orcs are going to attempt to move to the right, and other orcs that are in your possession will slowly filter in. This particular wordage actually saved this quest from disqualification. There is another phrase that the supply of orcs is infinite, which obviously exceeds the limitations, but the orc miniatures in your possession being near door L and being resupplied when orcs die makes sense. Anyway, this could mean eight orcs, it could mean 16 orcs, it could mean more orcs if you're playing with a contemporary version of Hero Quest, and it could mean way, way, way more orcs if you are playing with multiple copies of Hero Quest and you have a lot of extra orcs. At any rate, orcs are going to come, kill orcs, kill lots of orcs. Attack! Defend! Attack! Defend! Look, I'm just kidding. There's there's no reason to kill any of the orcs. Just run. Book it. Get out of here. Assign a hero to guard the rest of the heroes so that they can carry the chests out of here. But if you just indiscriminately slaughter the orcs that are coming out, they're just going to keep coming. So that is actually pointless. If your heroes are anything like mine, they're probably going to die the first time you attempt this quest. But you can go back in with new knowledge and attempt this quest again. Being more choosy about which rooms to visit first. In this room, you will find a crossbow. So this is definitely a great quest to have a group of heroes go to kind of no matter what level they are. I say level, that's figuratively speaking. There aren't levels in Hero Quest, but you get what I mean. And this quest is actually specified for a group of fresh heroes. Very interesting. But other than that, once you get the mechanics down, it's short and it's sweet. So thank you, Dennis Dus, for this awesome quest. To play these quests and the other epic quests submitted to the 2024 Quest Jam, please visit the link in the description below. Now onward, brave heroes.